What's up, YouTube? It's Willie Rebuild. I'm back, baby. Made it back from North Carolina about 2 o'clock in the morning. Got the new build down here. Got the new build down here. About to take it to the shop. Let y'all check it out. 2015 Lexus ES350. 90,000 miles, run and drive, it's a long ride baby from Dallas, 36 hours round trip, I drove the, I drove the first 18 non-stop all the way to North Carolina, took me a, picked the car up, drove all the way back from Done North Carolina to Augusta, Georgia, and laid it down. So really, it was more than 18 hours nonstop. I drove what about four, about five hours. Nah, about four hours from Done North Carolina to Augusta, Georgia. But that's what we're working with right here, baby. 2015 Lexus ES350. As you can see. She looking nice and pretty in there. Running drive, no check engine lights. She had all the parts in the back. The mat's a little dirty. But dang, nothing. I'm going to clean it up and take care of it. Light work for Willie Rebuild, baby. Light work. Oh, yeah. People see. Don't buy a service title. Look a heavy. She ate the highway up like a champ. 36 hours round trip. She ain't bogged down at one time. Ate the highway alive. Ate it up. I don't need no goddamn rental. All I gotta do is pull old heavy out. She going wherever. You see her? She ready for more action. I don't listen to them when they say don't buy the silver tight ain't no good. The, the thing will make the selfish title no good is the person who putting it back together. If he put it back together and he don't know what he's doing or he taking a whole bunch of shortcuts, you're going to get some junk. Got all my parts in the back of the truck. Front bumper cover. Got my hood. Fenders up under the hood. This, this light damage here, baby. They don't need no pull or nothing. Light damage. I was all excited when I pulled up to get the car. Because I looked at it, I said, God damn, this shit here don't even need no, no pulling or nothing. Why they totaled it out? I'm going to show you all the problem in a second. It's always hitting damages when you're going to buy cars out the auction. Always remember that. It's always a bit more than what it seems. Always more to the story. And let me show y'all what I'm talking about. Y'all see the mileage right there. 90,722. All right. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about here. As you can see, she fired right up. AC work. No engine lights. None of that. So I'm all happy. Well, first I was in kind of in panic mode as you can see you hear that that's the electric steering in the steering column it got some kind of malfunction so on I don't think it's direct I think it's in the car itself but as you can see she ain't got no check engine light just a tire pressure light because one of the uh the tires was blown out Tires was blown out, and uh, I got some Lexus tires, some wheels and tires off a of sport. I'm probably gonna put them on this car, but I just threw one on there so the car could ride level while I take it to the shop because I pulled it all the way back. She was sitting cockside on the trailer on the dolly because uh, the front tire was on the flat. 
But this shit here, that's part of the reason why they tooled it out. Cause that steering column, the motor inside it probably real expensive. But it ain't no big deal. I called Buddy back where I got the parts from. He done crushed the cost, so that's a no-go. So I got lucky on the I got lucky on the uh far as the wreck with the frame and all that. But like I see, it's always some hidden damages. But that's light work. That's screw on, screw off. You screw the Kyle out, go in there, get you another motor off eBay or wherever and get the job done. It ain't nothing to cry about. It's a pretty nice car, as you can see. It's a pretty nice car. With no warning lights on it, just the tire pressure light. And I can live with that all day. And once I put the... uh the sport wheels on there i'll go ahead and reset all the tire monitors on it but that's what we're working with youtube now people guys stopped me on the way back i couldn't get y'all new video of me at the auction because it was storming raining man the whole way so i say you know what i'm tired it's raining this ain't gonna make a good video so i went ahead and just waited till i got it back to the house but this car come all the way from Dunn, North Carolina I drove like 36, 37 hours to go and get it and this one here it's going to stay around with me for a little while I'm going to keep it a little while it's a nice little car I'm going to keep it a little while with a rebuild I, I done had a couple of Lexus but I ain't never keep none of them and ride and they good cars all of them I get I just sell them so this one I'm going to keep it a little while and ride in so the guy he stopped me in the gas station on the way back and he talking the small talk and you know how they do when they see you with something on the trailer and i could tell the way he was talking when they see stuff like this they thinking this a gimme but let me tell you something when you going to these auctions call like this you're not about to spend three thousand dollars you're not about to spend five thousand dollars, eight thousand dollars. This shit right here calls Willie Rebuild damn near eleven thousand dollars out the door. So if you think you're gonna go to auction and get something for nothing, she they're gonna have another thing coming for you, baby. This shit not cheap. People think when they see stuff like this, oh well, it's free. Cheap, three thousand, two thousand. I even see people come and think you paid fifteen hundred for it. Man, these people not about to get these cars away. They got stuff on this car worth thousands of dollars. One part for thousands of dollars. So why would they sell it to you for two or three thousand? These people not stupid, man. See them little sensors in this bumper here? The sensors? That shit, they're like $200 a piece. They got four sensors in there. That's $800 for four little bitty ass sensors. You did? These people ain't giving this shit away. So that's another thing. When you want to get in the car game, you got to know that. That you're going to run into people who feel like you getting this shit for free. This shit ain't free. Think about it. I like cars. And most of y'all that's watching this video like cars. That's why you're watching the video. If this shit was so cheap... Man, Willie Rebuild, I have cars lined up all the way around the corner, man. And sitting all over by everybody where I could keep a car at. If they were so cheap. If they were cheap, I wouldn't be riding in this truck. 2011, I'll have a 2021 if it was cheap. This shit ain't cheap. You got to pay to play. Willie Rebuild, baby. Just giving y'all, letting y'all see the new bill. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. If it was too high, you probably could get it a little cheaper in some states. I don't know. But from what I've seen, and Willie Rebuild, willing to go a long way, this this was the best deal I could find. Y'all get in the comments and let me know what y'all think, what y'all see I'm going for in y'all area, on the co-lot or whatever it may be. Don't forget the like, share, and subscribe. It's Willie Rebuild over and out, baby.